So uh, the, the question is, uh, what are my options when it comes to uploading shapefiles to ArcGIS Online? So essentially you have two options. Um, now, before we get into those two options, just to point out, uh, shapefiles come with uh, different file formats attached with them. Okay, so what we, what we are looking for, uh, both of the options that we're just going to run through now, uh, require you to have a compressed zip folder uh, in, in your file explorer on Windows or whatever system you're using, but a zip folder to upload that contains uh, everything that the shapefile came with. So typically you'll see, you know, that a shapefile is not just the SHP file, there's also a PRJ file, there's also a DBF file, like a database file that comes along with it, and a whole other bunch of stuff. So the first step before uploading it to ArcGIS Online is to get it into a compressed zip folder. So you can see here I have one called Lesson 3 Roads here. Yeah. Now, if you're doing it in Map Viewer, you might have noticed that if I go into Add Layers here, uh, I don't have an option for Direct Upload within Shapefile. And that's, that's really down to because um, uploading Shapefiles directly to web maps causes an awful lot of difficulty, particularly if you're bringing um, your your web maps offline for mobile workflows. Okay, so so in that light, it's not really best practice to upload your shapefile directly to a web map. Um, but there's a little hack around it, right? So I'll show you the hack first. That's option one, and then I'll show you how to do a best practice as well. Um, you know, now best practice, right? Like uh, it, it's not best practice if you have any mobile workflows. If you're just viewing your data, you're happy enough with that you just need to view it. It just exists within your web map. Then you can go ahead and use this hack. Otherwise, I'll show you uh, in option two. But from here, to start off, new map viewer. I'll go to open in map viewer classic. Once that loads up, you can see I got to add, add layer from file, choose file, uh, and choose the compressed zip folder with uh, my shape file and its other components in it. Click import layer, um, and that that's my layer, right? So uh, by default. In Map Viewer Classic, it's going to try and symbolize it for you. If you want to knock that off, you just go choose an attribute to show, show location only, click done. Uh, but you can see there's there's my shape file. Okay, now it doesn't exist as a, a line item in my content or anything like that, uh, but it's it's fully interactive. Yeah, I can click on a road segment here, get pop up information for it. Now I'll go to save. Uh, give it a title, give it a tag, give it a summary if you want. And now, so I've uploaded my shapefile via compressed zip folder directly to Map Viewer Classic. I've saved that map. And now what I'm going to do is this button up the top here, open in Map Viewer. If I want to continue on, Right, if you're using Map Viewer Classic for your day to day, that's fine, keep using it. Um, but if you did want to make the switch, new Map Viewer, and you want to continue using this, uh, you can open it up here and then just click Save. Uh, it'll give you the same title, same tag, it's the same web map, but <coughs> excuse me, when you go to open it now, it'll open up in the, in the new Map Viewer. Right? So there's just a little hack upload it directly to Map Viewer Classic, save your map, open it in a Map Viewer. And then you can go ahead and start adding in other content, editing, creating data, whatever. Okay? So that's option one. Option two then allows more functionality, right? So it essentially involves uploading your shapefile first to ArcGIS Online, creating a, a feature layer of it, uh, and then using that to be added to the map. So how to do that? I go to my content. I go to new item. Again, drag and drop or choose your location. I go, your device. I navigate to my compressed zip folder. Click open. You can leave this as default. Item type by default, it's shapefile. That's fine. How would you like to add this layer? You can also leave this as default. I'd like to 
add the zip folder and create a hosted feature layer. Uh, give it a title, give it a tag. Uh, remember, titles have to be um, unique across the organization. Just remember that. Uh, give it a tag, give it a summary if you want. And click Save. That'll bring me to the item details page here. And I can open in Map Viewer, so I can press this button here up the top right. And it'll open my shapefile for me. Or uh, when I'm in, so if I just remove this just to show you, if I'm in my Map Viewer already, I can hit Add Layer, search for my content. It should be the first one that pops up on the list because it's sorted by date modified. Click add and there's my shape file. So two different options. One's a bit of a hack. Um, you know, upload it directly to Map Viewer Classic. And it's, it's good if you're only trying to visualize your shape files, if you want to get a rough and ready sense of uh, what your shape file looks like, how to visualize it, how to symbolize it. Uh, you can go with that option. Uh, or if you want to do everything uh, quote unquote Esri best practice, uh, upload it as a feature layer first and then add it in. Hopefully that helps.